Hi, I'm Ryan from iLockers and I'm here to show you exactly how iLockers work. Firstly, iLockers are RFID enabled cabinets, locker systems or storage areas that will record the usage of equipment in and out, no matter what that equipment may be. So how exactly does it do that? Firstly, you need to log in. So as you'll see, we have a touchscreen control panel on the front of the unit that will allow us to type in a PIN code. We can either then have a PIN code or a card swipe or also a fingerprint reader is available depending on your exact requirements. I'm simply going to log in with a PIN code. However, I enter my PIN. That will then recognize exactly who I am and ask me exactly what I'd like to do. In my case, I'd like to remove an asset. So I hit remove asset and the number of the locker that I would like to open. As you can see, that will then illuminate all of the assets within and I can remove any asset that I would like. So I simply close the door and the unit will record that. How does it do it though? So, because we work with RFID, you'll recognize that there's an RFID tag on the bottom of this iPad. That can either be mounted on the outside or on the inside, depending on what the equipment may be. So what that will then do is as soon as it leaves the unit, our readers within the cabinet will record that that piece of equipment has gone, interrogate the system and see exactly who was logged in, marry the two together, as well as the HD image that's been recorded, and put that onto the software. So you then always know exactly who it is that's got every single piece of equipment at any time. So, how do I return the piece of the kit? Now I've, uh, now I've used it, nice and easy. Everyone's known that I've had it if ever they needed to get hold of me. But now I've finished, I want to return it back to the locker. So again, I simply log in with my PIN code. The unit will record a time and date stamp once again, a color photograph, and ask me what I'd like to do. So in this case, it will give me a, a menu, uh, an active menu of all the assets that I have out if I'd like to have a fast return, or I can select the specific locker that I'd like to put it back into. And do so. At that stage, if I had charging inside, then I would plug it back into the charging dock or simply pop the cable back into the bottom of the unit. So, in terms of the records now, how do I withdraw that information? Firstly, because the units stand alone, I can come up to the system, type in my admin PIN code as long as I've got sufficient user rights, and I can actually control the whole of the unit from here as well as removing reports. If I just wanted to remove reports, however, I hit the, uh, the report section, it will give me a record of exactly what's been in, what's been out, the time and the date and the user, as well as that nice photograph of the individual that did it. So no more sign-in, sign-out books. That will also give me the option to uh, work with adding users, removing users, all those sorts of things. So it's a really, really good standalone piece of kit. That sums up the iLocker system in our short video. Uh, I hope you found it um, informative and that it looks very interesting to you and that we get the opportunity to work together on your project and your business. Our contact details will be on the bottom of the screen shortly and we look forward to hearing from you.